I also, I do also plan on doing a charity stream. This is Official Lemon, one of Gorilla Tag's many creators, and happens to be one of the most generous creators out there. And in today's video, I got to sit down and interview him, asking him questions about his YouTube journey. Let's get straight into the interview. All right, Lemon, thank you so much for coming out today. Basically, I'm about to sit down and interview you and ask you questions about YouTube in general. So I think we should get straight into the interview. So the first question, it's very basic, but how did you find virtual reality? I think, oh yeah, my cousin, one of my cousins, he had the Oculus Quest 1 or whatever, yeah, when it was called Oculus. And he had a bunch of games. He had like a, he had Vader Immortal. He had a bunch of them. I low-key got into it after that. And then the, I think that Christmas, the Quest 2 released and then I played it. Nice. And I really got into it. And then, I like stopped playing it and then I got back in. It was like a back and forth and then I finally got attached to it and then here we are, I guess. So ever since then you said you kept on going back and forth. How did you find Gorilla Tag during this? It was it was like the first time I got into it was uh, when I got it one Christmas is when I went to my friend's house and he, I think I found it and then he played it and he was like, screaming in his room he was like smoothing his moving his hands around i thought he was like the f biggest freaking idiot i don't even know he was like acting all weird and stuff and then i played it and i was like oh this is kind of funny your name is very like different in like the youtube platform like in gorilla tag i'm wondering how did you get the name official lemon i was playing with one of my school friends because they also had a vr and this was before I even started YouTube. So I was like, I was really big into TikTok, like Gorilla Tech TikTok, like Fish VR, all those guys. So I was like, what could I do? Maybe something catchy, like official. So like official, official orange, official apple. And then I landed on official lemon. I remember where we did it. It was like in mountains or somewhere. Nice. So you were just naming off things until you found like the right yeah. one? Yeah. That's what Fadu yeah. said too. Out of all the videos you've ever made, what's your favorite? I used to be very passionate, now I just kind of post. I'm still pretty passionate, but um, I would say probably the duck season one that didn't really get a lot of traction, but it was like me like trying to trying to do something different. I was genuinely very scared. That game was horrifying. That game, that, that video was amazing. Yeah. Like it was awesome. I remember I spent a couple days editing it. Now I kind of just spend like hours editing my videos when did you first realize you started to get more growth because once you posted that first ever like update type gorilla type video your channel just kind of blew up How, what was going through your head when this happened i didn't even process it at first i was like dang fifty thousand views and then like uh, i think on my first video they got fifty thousand views i think i got like a thousand subscribers from it i remember i hit 1k just from like doing normal stuff and then i hit 2k and then as soon as I hit 3k, I was like, all right, so this is going to become my job from now on. And then I just, yeah, like you said, I started blowing up like crazy nonstop. So you clearly are good friends with Fadu. He even said it in his interview. Yeah. Um, how did you guys meet? So I think I DM'd him first because I saw he was, I think he joined Rax's server because at the time I was like a big head mod for Rax. Me and Rax go way back. And, um... I'm pretty sure I DM'd him and I saw he was a YouTuber and I, I didn't like I didn't realize because like I guess at the time he clickbaited I didn't even realize that so at the time I was like hey bro want to be buddy best friends and he was like yeah sure oh wait you're a mod for Rex can you get Rex in a lobby with one of my friends and I was like yeah sure I could try and I think I remember Rex saying yeah but it never happened but yeah, it was definitely something like correlated to Rax. So most of your content is on like update slash kind of clickbaity content. How do you like, like why did you start doing this? So a lot of it was from, and I won't I won't name any of these girl tech YouTubers. Some like encouraged I do it and then I grow an audience or if they encouraged I clickbait a little and then I grow an audience. But I, at first I was like, nah. And then I tried it and I was like, okay, this is good, but I don't know if I want to stick to it. So for the people that are probably watching this video, or I don't know where I should be looking, but for the people that are probably watching this video that watch my content, that are aware that it can be clickbaity, I don't really try to. At the start, I, that was like my way to grow. And then now I'm trying to lean towards, oh, wow, stutter. I'm trying to lean towards um, like making theories. Like this thing right here could possibly be something like I just connect the dots like crazy. Like I do hard research. 
if Dev, the mod maker, is watching this video, I eagle eye your Gorilla Tech wiki like crazy just to like sniff out a good idea or a theory. I'm not even gonna lie, because he posts. I mainly do that for the unused cosmetics because those those do pretty good. Yeah, like the. But yeah, I definitely don't tour. I definitely don't try to clickbait, but at the end, they do kind of seem a little bit. But to be honest, some of them do actually happen. Like. The only one I could really think of off the top of my head is when I talked about how the fireball could release and what it could bring to the game and then go figure the last flashback it released. So, you know, they're not entirely clickbait, I'd say. Yeah, which I get because you're you actually find like the hidden cosmetics like in one of your videos. You talked about the staff cosmetic like that's that was in supposed to come to the game. So that's not really clickbait if it's real, you know? Yeah. Some people hate on your videos for this because they're clickbaity in a way. How do you like handle this? I just delete the comment or just ignore it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't, it doesn't even affect me. I just see. I was like, oh, good opinion. Out of here. Yeah. Uh, you can have your opinions. I, I'm not gonna like throw a fit over it. I'll just either delete it or just ignore it because you know, yeah. no point starting a fight. For your future content, do you? Do you plan to keep doing like this update content or do you want to get into like original stuff? I have tried a lot of times to do more original type content like when Fadu uh, blew up the modding trend I tried doing it didn't do too well but I, you know it was a fun a uh, fun video for my sister and then I tried uh, I tried a lot of things but obviously they didn't work out that well because people were so used to the update videos so I obviously went back and forth and I finally just stopped uh, eventually if the updates like if girl tech really starts to die down and there's nothing good to make a theory on or a video on i will most likely try other things i've honestly thought about it recently because at the end of the day if i make this like a full-time career i probably won't be in gorilla tag forever so i'll definitely have to have a lot of different plans yeah but yeah i'd, I'd say i'm probably gonna keep on doing it i also i do also plan on doing a charity stream i said this saturday i might be busy since saturday is right before father's day I didn't know that when I said it, so, you know, but I, really soon I did, I did actually do a little mini one and I, this real guy, oh my god, this guy called Real American VR uh, donated a hundred dollars while, while I was explaining it, like five minutes into the stream, so I will be doing another one of those, I'll probably keep on doing those, because whether they do good or not, I just want to raise charity for uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is like a hospital for cancer and stuff, but yeah, I will definitely keep probably doing more of those like maybe a really long one like a two-hour one yeah that, that that's actually like really wholesome that you're giving back to people that actually need it though because most people won't oh, do yeah. that another thing is um it was like a little bit but um i'm really big in the minecraft it's been like my childhood game so when technoblade passed i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i cry i'm not a big crier but i cried um so his like rival during a, one of his biggest series the great potato war i'm a squid kid recently a couple months ago he made a video and he attached the whole like sarcoma uh foundation to it and i donated a little bit to it that's when i like originally got monetized and stuff and i actually had like good amount of money and i was like it was like maybe 15 or 20 dollars but it was like quite a bit i posted the uh, receipt in discord for anybody that's skeptical about it so you'll have to scroll a few months into my discord server but yeah that's so wholesome that's awesome all right the final question i have for you is who do you want to be interviewed next the big question um i guess gorilla vr gt all right well thank you so much for coming out today i'll try to reach out to him of course and yeah uh like and subscribe